Well, hi there, and Happy New Year. It is a new year, and I'm wishing you a happy one. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. It's been a long time. I have been very, 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 very busy catching up on a lot of different things in a lot of different parts of life. That's what happens. Life happens. You see, you grow older and things change, people change, you keep going. That's what we're going to do. We're going to move right into it. So if you have any questions for me, if you'd like to know anything else about what happened, feel free to ask, personal message, what have you. You've got my info, and if you don't, well, you should ask for it, because then you'll get it most of the time, unless you're creepy. If you're creepy, not happening. Or if you're a dirty hippie who would like to try and take my information to do something stupid, like register me for some kind of a political stance one way or the other, you cannot have it. Yeah. Suit up, kids. It's science time. To start, we're going to have a little conversation, first the fact that I'm alive, and two, about alcohol. That's right, alcohol. I'm sure you've all missed it or enjoyed it at some point in time or another, especially imbibing on the New Year celebration. Once celebrating the fact that the Mayans were not correct, we did not die or end our race. Some of you might be slightly disappointed, and to you I say, my apologies, lo siento. And the second New Year celebration, I don't know about you, but champagne is a delightful thing. Mixed with orange juice, you get a mimosa, and that's also great, but on its own, what a bubbly mixture. So much fun. This is getting weird. Why do I bring up alcohol? Well, one, recent studies have shown that alcohol, light to moderate amounts, can help assist in staving off several different psychoses or several different uh, degenerative diseases for your brain. One of which, and a very popular one, is dementia. Dementia causes a lot of issues socially for people and their grandparents. Really, really awkward, trust me. But you can stop dementia, or at least assist in uh, its control, by not, not drinking alcohol. You like that? Double negative there. If you ingest a light to moderate amount for ladies, that's one drink, maybe two if you're feeling fancy, but men definitely one to two, that's not sexist. That's based entirely upon a, gen a gender specific construct. I know that genders are questionable lately and nowadays people have their issues one way or the other with man, women, child, baby, elephant, Borneo, I don't know. That being said, at present, from a genetic standpoint of a gender-specific construct of male versus female, males, one to two, females, one, can have two. The Lord only knows I want to get all of you riled up and get you all kinds of excited with things. The specific alcohol they're talking about is red wine. Why red wine? Well, red wine has a number of nutrients and antioxidants, one of which being resorbitol. Resorbitol is found in the grape skin of the red grapes. That helps to protect, so far that they found, against dementia. Now, I'm not saying go get fushnickered or smashed, but why not? It's a good excuse to find out because they don't know all the effects and they don't know what specific aspects of alcohol actually support this. Is it just resorbitol or is it a chemical reaction? They don't really know, but they're working on it and that's the point. So until then, I think we should support science and having a cocktail or two. Which brings me to my next topic. I'm going to start a video series now, a fun one that I've really actually been thinking about in different ways. And bounced around different names for it. I'm going to call it Smashing Science. And the reason it's called Smashing Science is because we're going to start out every week with a new cocktail. A cocktail that will have a fantastic historical value to it, a story of some kind, shape or form, how it affected maybe a revolutionary war. There's a fun one for you. And its effects chemically on your body. There's a knock on the door. People are actually behind me trying to get into this room. So. Smashing science. The idea behind it is to make a cocktail with a different historical value, a different story, a different chemical concoction every week, and enjoy it while I describe it to you. That way those of you that aren't old enough to have them yet will have something to look forward to, and those of you that are old enough to have them yet can get right started with having a smashing week. I wish you all a fantastic Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fun day, whatever day it is that you happen to decide to watch this video, if you decide to watch this video. I'll see you soon. On that note, ta-da! How much of that was actually in focus? How much of that was actually in focus? There's some focus. Watch me focus on my face. Oh, oh, oh!